death yesterday was absolutely heartbreaking. And I'll never get over it. Now she sent us these two little guys. The emotions going crazy, up and down. I thought I had cried all my tears out yesterday, but these are happy tears. The animals just need some extra love and Yesterday was horrific. Yesterday morning I came down here to feed the animals as my normal morning routine. And I heard Anna, the big black goat, I heard her screaming and she never screams, never talks, never screams, nothing. Um, I came running down here, I had my two border collies with me. I, I came running down here and I saw a pit bull who I'm familiar with, uh, with Anna's face in her mouth and she was swinging Anna around like a rag doll. It was horrific. The dog was full of blood. Her face was full of blood. Her neck was full of blood. She was just a vicious looking killer. So I jumped the fence, got in here, and that quick the dog saw me and recognized me and, and let go of Anna and started wagging its tail. That, I've never seen a switch of a personality so fast it was unbelievable. In less than a second, that dog's personality switched. So I grabbed the dog, got her in a headlock, drug her up to uh, one of our sheds, and locked her in there until the authorities came. It was very quiet. There was, no, there was not a peep around, not even out of a duck. It was like, it was almost like they were all gone instead of buckwheat being gone. There's Anna. Look what he did to her. When I came down here, that pit bull had her down right here. Oh, really? Look, her blood still. Oh, wow. That's all, that's her blood. That, and I've washed most of it up. Um, that pit bull had her down right there, had her mouth, had, had Anna's face in her mouth, and she was swinging that big goat around like a rag doll. Anna Banana, she seems really um, stressed out. I, I mean, that's not Anna. It's almost like a little zombie there compared to how Anna is, so we hope she gets better. That, that was a lot of bites in her face, as you can see, so. Oh, she's usually real spunky, and, you know, she throws those horns at you, you know, like, don't touch me, don't touch me. But she's so quiet now, and we're not used to that from Anna. Everybody would try to give her a hug, and she wouldn't let you, but... She knew we were there, and we were there to play with her. And, but anyway, she, we, hope, we hope for the best for her. I'm worried about her. All my little buckwheat was laying over there dead. Her throat crushed. Um, Anna was laying here bleeding half to death. Some of my other goats, Leroy, and some of the other ones had their ears ripped off. The sheep had their faces, um, their faces, uh, peeled off practically and this poor little girl had her ear almost ripped off, her skulls punctured and a lot of them were hiding out there in the woods. Little Darla was hiding out there in the woods. The one who just had the babies today, she was hiding. Up there, um, she was found in the back part of the pasture where they had um, tried to bite her in the back to pick her up, I guess. Mm -hmm. So she had blood marks and bite all, all over the back of her. Mm -hmm. but she there we go. Oh my. Come on, little. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Good girl, Darla. Come on, there it is. Darla. Darla, here's your baby. Oh, I never seen a baby born. <laughs> oh, Charlotte. <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh. Baby. Your Does grandma she... just sent you to us, and you look like your grandma. Mm -hmm. I'm so sad, but so happy. I know. <laughs>